So Torbjörn, there. you have now actually 15 minutes, if oh, you like, oh, for comments. <laughs> you don't need to take 15 minutes, but you can. But then, no, no, and after that, no, uh, I, I'm going to ask Kasha and Peter to come up, and then yes, we're going to discuss yeah, and have a... Let's see how it works, it works out. Um, a common friend of us, uh, a deceased philosopher, also from Australia, Jack Smart, once called me a hard-nosed utilitarian, but I think you have outsmarted me <laughs> in this talk. Yes, outsmarted me. So, so I won't really be polemical against things you said, but I, I want to make some observations about this notion of dignity and its place in this discussion. I mean, rhetorically speaking, it's extremely important. I mean, you always refer to dignity when you want to support some decision that, well, to a utilitarian at least, sounds ridiculous or, or wrong. But, but I think, generally speaking, it's not needed, this, this notion at all. And at least it plays two very different roles uh, in modern thinking. And um, I wouldn't say that you conflated them, but you touched upon both of them. And, and one is this idea that it's the ontological constraint, that it's absolutely prohibited to, to kill an innocent human being. Why? Because of its dignity, it said. So it's when you deal with intentional killing, and that's the airplane example and so. Um, I mean, you could say that it's, you could say that it is prohibited to kill an innocent human being without having recourse to this notion, this difficult notion of, of dignity. And we would still have a robust theory that you could confront and discuss whether it's reasonable or not. So that's one use of it, but that has very little, I think, to, to do with, with priority setting in, in situation of mass casualty and then triage uh, at the, when, when you accept the patient. Because, I mean, no one has suggested that you should kill some of them intentionally to get rid of them. That would uh, provoke an outcry, I think, and it would be completely unnecessary. It would be difficult even for a utilitarian to defend such a position. So what it is that takes place here is that we sort between some people that should be saved and others that should not be saved. And we give this, we utilitarians say that we should go for, for uh, as much life quality and, and, and uh, um, uh, years as possible. And what is the other idea then that is often defended with recourse to this notion of human dignity? I think it's the idea that everyone should be given an equal chance. The equity view. I think the Swedish parliament has really conflated the equity view with, with these needs principles and so on. So their thinking went wrong there. But, but what they're really defending here is the equity view, which could not be defended, I think, on egalitarian uh, or needs uh, uh, reasons, uh, nor on utilitarian reasons, of course. So what is this idea of, of equity then, of giving everyone an equal chance? I mean, that may se seem reasonable if you have two people competing for one ventilator and there is little difference between them. One way of giving them an equal chance would be to flip a coin, wouldn't it? <coughs> But that isn't exactly the situation in the ICU unit. This is more similar to John Tariq's example, where, where you have, uh, well, one of his examples is, is one that, where you could send a rescue mission to one person on an isolated island, or to another island where you have five persons. Uh, what does the equity view say about such a situation? You, could, you couldn't do both. You, you could go and say one person, or you could go in the other direction and say five persons. Which way should you go? Well, according to Tari, I mean, that's a possible interpretation of Tari. It's a bit messy here, but I, uh, that's a standard interpretation of him, and that he really recommends that one should flip a coin here, where to go. Because then everyone is given an equal chance at being saved. Those five, each one of them, has a 50% chance of getting saved, and then the sole person, again, has a 50% chance of being saved. So, so that is 
the recommendation that seems to follow also, I think, from, from, from this, this um, decision from the Swedish parliament and this equity view. But even, even in this example, I think it, most people would find it wrong to do this. I mean, if you could save five, for sure, why, why not do that rather than saving three uh, uh, prospective lives? If you count probabilities and so, and, and uh, when flipping the coin, then you soon see that uh, you will save five uh, uh, probable lives, so to speak. Uh, but you could also end up in saving just one. Um, I, I think, uh, I mean, uh, Tarek is unique almost in, in defending this position that we should flip a coin even in situations like this. So here I think utilitarian thinking uh, gains the upper hand in the discussion of this example already. But then we could add to it Katarina Bernd, a former student and uh, now colleague, also at the institute, isn't she? Yes, yes. Uh, has given another twist to this example. She asks us to, to consider a situation where it's extremely difficult to save the soul person. So only one expedition in 100 will succeed if you go that way. But you could for sure save the five. If you go that way, you will save the five for sure. Now, now you can't flip a coin anymore. Now you must, must arrange with a, a lottery where, 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 where it's almost certain that you will go uh, in the direction of the sole person, giving everyone an equal, extremely slight probability of being saved. Again, I think this is what is implied by the equity view. You should do that. So then everyone will have the same chance of being saved, namely almost no chance at all. I mean... You will, it's highly likely that you will then go in the wrong direction the, the, to the sole person and fail with this uh, attempt. So I, I think this, this is argument against this uh, equity view. And you could state this equity view without having recourse to any idea about uh, any notion of the, the, the dignity of human beings or so. Uh, it's an idea, idea that you could express much more simple than that. And again, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry to say, uh, this is, is just another utilitarian conclusion of the discussion so far. But I hope there will be more resistance, fierce resistance to, to this kind of reasoning uh, when more speakers enter this platform. Okay, that was quite short, wasn't it?